My name is Sakura Hensley, reporting live for EFTV. Please enjoy the world premiere of Leader. <laughs> live for EFTV. Please enjoy third grade students celebrating math testing being over.
This is Donna Knowlton, and I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Adams for her reading class. She did a fantastic job of organizing and putting away all of the books for her kids for this year. And she taught the kids to be great leaders and teaching them how to do it themselves. This is Emma Miles reporting live for EFTV with Lily Klein. What was your favorite thing that you've done this year? Planning the seven habits. I am here with Stormy. Stormy, what was your favorite thing about making friends with Dakota in the beginning of the year? I'm here with Callie. What was your favorite thing about this year, Callie? Um, my favorite thing about this year was um, that all the teachers are nice to me. I'm here with Kylie. Kylie, what was your favorite thing about this year? That the students are nice and they have kind hearts. I'm here with Abby. Abby, what was your favorite thing about this year? Well, we are at house school, and that's my favorite thing. I'm here with Ariana. Ariana, what was your favorite thing? Yeah. That on the last week of school, we get to have a lot of fun and spend time with each other. I'm here with Asher. Asher, what was your favorite thing about the school year? Well, one of my favorite things about the school year was, was that I won first place in one of the activities at Play Day. I am here with Elena. Elena, what was your favorite thing about this year? My name is Sakura Hensley, reporting live for EFTV. Please enjoy the world premiere of First Things First, I'm a Leader.
This is Michaela Cantu, reporting live from EFTV. I'm here with Sarah Tolliver. Sarah, how would you feel if we weren't a leadership school anymore? Um, I would feel kind of sad because um, everybody would be mean and kind of make fun of people and um, not be nice to each other. I'm here with Maria Mays. Maria, what would it, what would you feel like if we weren't a lighthouse school anymore? Then we would not be leaders and I would be sad. I'm here with Jabriah Webb. Jabriah, how would you feel if we weren't a lighthouse school anymore? Well, if we were a lighthouse school anymore, I'll feel, I'll feel really bad because being a lighthouse school has changed our school really much. Um, I don't feel like the kids would be where they are right now. So tell me more. I don't feel like they would be this. I don't feel like they would be this respectful. Sad. Okay. Because we wouldn't be leaders and we would be disrespectful to everyone. It would hurt everybody's feelings. Well, I would feel kind of disappointed because I've been here for two years learning about the seven habits and then all of a sudden we just quit. That would make no sense. I would be questioning in them questioning them and I didn't know what I would do. Uh, I would be sad because this is a very, very good school that, uh, it's a leadership school to me. I would feel very bad because it was a, it was a pretty good opportunity to be a lighthouse school. And when I moved here, I thought it I'd be embarrassed, but when I saw it was a lighthouse school, I really liked it, and it was just really amazing school. I would be sad, because then everyone wouldn't be nice to each other, and it would just hurt people's feelings. I would feel really, like, mm, sad, because you wouldn't learn about the seven habits and get to do fun activities <laughs> about the seven habits. The seven habits also helps you with things in life. Grade students enjoy dissecting owl pellets during reading class. Owl pellets are the body parts that cannot be digested, such as fur and bones. Owls regurgitate. These pellets are very own. Miss Tammy provided this activity as her service project with Monard Woodsman. Thank you, Miss Tammy and the Monard Woodsman, for providing this activity.